this is the maximum security of believers. God ensuring us of our protection. But it's not so for those out there who are here to come into the kingdom. A lot of testimony abound for all that we have received from God so far in the previous uh, global crusades. You hearing them, we are going to hear more. Let's start by thanking God first and foremost for the previous blessings, previous testimonies, previous salvation and healing and deliverances, and also for the anchor person, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, that God is using, his servant, and using in a time like this. Let's praise God for his life and thank God for every blessing we have received through him. Great has been the blessings. Wonderful. But we are going to get much more in this program. Thank God for his blessings in the previous crusades, in the previous gathering. Thank all over the nation. Thank God for them all, and thank God for the servant of the Lord. God has told us here in verse 27, is our, is our God, is our refuge, is our protector, is our defender. Now, let us begin to thank God for this privilege once again to receive more from God in spite of the previous one we have received. More are coming to us. And let's begin to pray now for spectacular miracles in this program. Spectacular signs and wonders happening to us through faith in Christ in this program. God has so much more for us. He has a lot of blessing for us. And they are going to happen. That's why we are praying. They are going to be animals. They are going to be great. They will come all over the nations of the world. You will taste of it. You will experience it. And it shall be great. Let's pray for the power of the cross to be effectual. In saving souls. Genuine salvation. Salvation of souls. All kinds of sinners in the world over. Outright sinners. Backsliders. Diplomatic sinners. Religious sinners, let's pray for them. The poor and the rich, the educated and the illiterate, all of them, women and men, all over, that the power of the cross will be effective and will be effectual in bringing salvation to them, meaning there will be genuine repentance. Not confessing the sins of others, but confessing their sins. And they cry for mercy for God to come to save their soul. And the Lord will do it as we pray, believing. As we pray, trusting the Lord, he will do it. During this program, during this global crusade, we are all praying, church. Not looking at other people. We are praying. Get seated and then start praying. And trusting the Lord to do more miracles for us, miracles of salvation, signs for us, and wonders in this program. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are still praying. We are going to pray that the power of the cross, hmm, the power of the cross, the power of the cross, we bring deliverance to the oppressed. Power of the cross will bring deliverance, all kinds of deliverance, all common deliverances to all people, far and near, all over the world, all over the globe. God will bring a common deliverance to them, all that are held in captivity, in various captivities. Captivity of sin, captivity of Satan, of sickness, those who are in courts, those who are in various addictions, those who are so helpless in various places. That as we pray and the man of God pray for us, God will come and break and break all their powers and break and subdue all the enemies of their soul. In Matthew chapter 18, look at what Jesus said. In Matthew chapter 18, there we are reading in verse 18. Look at what the Bible says. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Our prayers are covered. The word of God has covered all this. That's why we are praying souls must be saved. Lost, sandy, backslider must come back home to the Lord, to their maker. And powers of God will be broken. Powers of addition will be broken. Power of Satan will be broken from the minds of people, from their hearts, 
all over. They will be set free. It's going to be very easy for them to receive the Lord. It's going to be very easy for them to receive salvation. It's going to be very easy for them to walk out and they are free. And all the chains broken. All the chains broken, I tell you. All chains broken. During this program, all chains will be broken. Every one of them. Every one of them will be broken. We are praying together and we are trusting the Lord through faith in Christ that uncommon miracle of salvation. Those who are addicted to sin all their lives, they are coming back home. They are coming back to the Savior. They are coming back to the Lord. And the mighty blood of Jesus will wash them. When they come in repentance, sincerely, and confession, they will receive forgiveness of sin, and God will bring them into the kingdom. Look at what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians. In 2 Corinthians there, we are reading from chapter 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, and I want to read from verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen? Now, all those people are held back. Who find it difficult to be saved? We are come, we are praying and telling the oh Lord, set them free. We are breaking the powers of darkness over their mind, over their soul, and we are telling the Lord of common deliverance. Those who are oppressed so many years, as we are speaking, as we are praying, there are so many, they are in sin and sickness. I don't know how it's coming back, but they are just there. That's as we are praying, the power of cancer, the power of uh, uh, sicknesses in better form and shape, everything will be destroyed. As the man of God, here we talk again about the last amen. When the man of God said the last amen, just walk away. You are true. And we are praying and asking the Lord to do wonders, causing global revival in all the nations of the world, meaning that the mercy of God will be so great that people will find it very easy to call for God, to go to live in righteousness, to live in uh, holiness of life. Very easy for them to make their decision. They are conscious of being free, and they are conscious of God more than conscious of any other thing in the world around them. Blessings of all kind falling upon people, not only here, but all over, all over the nations of the world. I hope you are really praying. I will begin to thank God. Shall we pray together? Almighty Father, we thank you very much for all that you have done for us. Thank you for touching souls and touching lives and touching your prayers and setting them free. Thank God for our Father in the Lord you have brought who organized this program so that people will receive their liberty. They will receive their freedom. They will receive their joy and happiness all through their life. Oh Lord, do something new. Do something so real and common and uncommon in this program by the power of the Holy Ghost. We well, thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen.